welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to set up notifications on salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go setting up notifications in salesforce helps users stay informed about important events updates or changes so depending on what you want to notify users about there are various types of notifications you see there's going to be like a bell icon on the upper right corner beside your profile icon and these are the notifications including email alerts in-app notifications push notifications and custom notifications so basically there are multiple ways for you to configure each type number one is i want you to click on the gear icon located on the upper right corner there's going to be the setup when you navigate the setup i want you to click the quick find search bar here and type in email alerts all right you see that there's going to be a workflow option if you click the email alerts now once you are here okay so these are going to be some of your options if you wanted to know more about the workflow it automates the following types of actions based on your organization's processes there's the email alerts send an email to one or more recipients you specify field updates right outbound messages and a lot more okay now we're going to click on continue because we're going to set up an email alert you see that one email alerts are used to send emails from a flow or other automation i want you to click on the new email alert all right for example this is gonna be unique name is let's say for example alert what about notifications object is going to be it's up to you is it going to be account asset badge campaign case so i'll leave that to you all right but for now we're going to click on account your recipient type is going to be user is it going to be account owner creator email field owner and a lot more so um that is dependent on your um your goals and preferences all right now here you can enter up a five, you can enter up to five email address to be notified for example i'm gonna put in i'm gonna click on save and continue now another option is go again to the quick find okay this time we are looking for the in-app notifications and for you to be able to do that i want you to type in process builder if you don't have that that's okay because that is dependent on your account if you can have type in uh, maybe mobile all right so these are going to be your mobile apps click on the salesforce setting so you have all of these options enabled in-app notifications enable push notifications if you don't have it just make it sure it's uh unchecked click on save and that would lead you to have notifications in lightning experience and salesforce mobile apps now the custom notifications like this allows you to define personalized messages that can be sent as an in-app notifications or push notifications all right here all we have to do is type in custom notifications 
what will happen is we will be forwarded here when you create and use custom notifications the title and body of the cust custom push notification may be saved to and processed by google microsoft and apple all right please be mindful of that salesforce is not responsible for the privacy and security practices of third-party systems or applications like other um, um platforms all you have to do is click on new and what will happen is you would have all of these information such as the custom name and the api name you will be given on uh, the supported channels that you want you can use the desktop and of course you can put in the mobile once you're happy with that all i have to do is save all right and again you can put in as much as custom notifications that you want here on this setup another option that we're going to do again on the quick find we're going to type in notification builder Now, on the notification delivery settings, all right, so you have all these channels, analytics, activities, you can check as much as you want, like data imports, Einstein activity, approvals, chatter, Einstein, financial services, sales, and others, all right? Now, the notification type has uh, the desktop, mobile, and mobile apps. You have the mail client integration issues, optimizer, scan results, and a lot more. And again, if you want to create no custom notifications, just go here in this section and you would be forwarded here. All right. So these are your options in creating the uh, notifications here in Salesforce. Remember that this approach gives you flexibility on how you notify users whether you want them to receive real-time alerts through email or get quick updates directly within the salesforce all right so these are going to be your options if you click on the salesforce certification you have all this this is only for mobile app all right if you type in alerts you have the big deal alerts and the email alert I, um, I'm also using the big deal alert. All I have to do is click on the alert name, trigger amount, trigger probability, send the recipients, click on save and get new. And all of these will be reflected to your account and you will get notified here on this. For example, you have the option to mark as all read if you wanted. If you click on that, you can dismiss, you can pin the panel. And of course, you can delete that or explore the reports page. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one.